بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو دے دس از اے شارٹ کلپ ریگارڈنگ ٹین ٹو ففٹین کنٹرولس ایم سی کیو سو دیر ایم سی کیو ریگارڈنگ دا وینس بلڈ اینڈ دا آرٹیریل بلڈ اینڈ دے آر آسکنگ دیٹ واٹ از دا ایفیکٹ آف ایم سی وی وچ ون ہیز ہائی ایم سی وی آرٹیریل بلڈ اور دا وینس بلڈ وچ ون ہیز ہائی ایس آر آرٹیریل بلڈ اور وینس بلڈ وچ ون ہیز ہائی کلورائڈ ان دا پلازما آرٹیریل اور وینس سو کمنگ ٹو واٹ دیٹ لیٹ سپوز دس از دا آرٹری and this is the vein so we are having artery and vein let's suppose this is vein and this is artery so the artery it breaks into capillaries and then it become vein so what happens in the capillaries the oxygen is used by the tissue and the co2 is produced so the venous blood is having more co2 the venous blood is having more co2 point number one point number two if the venous blood is having more co2 what happens the CO2 enters inside the RBC I'm talking now this we are in the venous blood in the venous blood the CO2 enter into RBC what happens the RBC in the RBC H2O combines with the CO2 and this produces H2CO3 this is called carbonic acid then it breaks down into H positive plus bicarb neg HCO3 now we are in the RBC now this is neutralized by hemoglobin that this is the reason that is called the buffer of the RBC now this thing the bicarbonate it is negative recharge it 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 is kicked out of the RBC when it is kicked out of the RBC so as it is negative charge it must be replaced by some another negative charge so the chloride comes inside the RBC so the chloride comes inside the RBC this is called chloride shift this is called chloride shift this is RBC bicarbonate is coming out into the plasma and the chloride is coming inside the cell now the, uh, the second mcq is the plasma of which blood has high carbonate venous or arterial the answer is venous next mcq is the which one has high chloride the arterial blood or the venous blood the answer is the answer is arterial blood because in the venous blood chloride it goes inside the cell so in the venous blood chloride concentration in the plasma become less while in the rbc reverse happens if ask in which of the rbc the chloride is high the arterial blood or the venous blood the answer is venous blood venous blood now when the chloride enters the cell it draws water water enter into the cell and when water enter into the cell its size become increase when the size of rbc become increases we say the mcv is increasing so the mcv of which RBC is high arterial blood or the venous the answer is venous the answer is venous now we know that when the MCV is high what is the effect on the ESR the answer is high because the larger RBC they quickly make the Rolex formation and settle down if they are settling down quickly so the ESR will be high so which one has high ESR arterial blood or the venous the answer is venous blood venous blood so we must clear our mind so the ESR of the venous blood is high the ESR of the venous blood is high which one has high hematocrit which one has high hematocrit venous blood or the arterial blood now the hematocrit actually depends upon the size of RBC if your RBC are larger in size then it will give you a larger hematocrit the answer is venous blood venous blood the high hematocrit is of venous blood so these are the some mc keeps that are repeating again and again so they will they will check check you and change the scenario now which uh so that was some of the things regarding the arterial and the venous blood there is another mc keep the oxygen difference between the arterial blood and the venous blood let's suppose this is artery and let's suppose this is vein is smallest in that is the dorsum of the hand mainly and the dorsum of the hand does not have capillary blood uh, capillary capillary bed if there is no capillary bed what happens is the, the blood goes directly from the artery to the vein when it goes directly from the artery to the vein so there is no oxygen used up if there is no oxygen used up the oxygen of the venous blood is almost equal to the oxygen of the arterial blood that is almost 
equal to that of arterial blood now there is another mcq oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve inside the arterial blood the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen is high or inside the venous blood in the arterial no we will discuss this in the next section thank you